Okay, you. So you have to excuse the cars or the neighbor trimming his lawn, mowing his lawn. Sorry. But okay, here's the thing that you will need for everything. Hopefully, it will go right. So okay, um, we have to have a bleach for the uh, orange effect like the orange dust or something, whatever is in the galaxy. So I use Clorox and obviously you're not going to pour, you know, with the cap off onto the skirt. You have to spray it, so I use an old dishwash bottle and put just the spray cap on it. Then you will need, of course, the colors. I used, I went to Joanne's Fabric and I bought two of M Marty Stewart's come on focus uh, two of Marty Stewart's craft this is like lilac and this is like indigo sky blue or something I don't know what's wrong with the camera okay then I have just regular Joanne brand white this will be the stars and Oh, sorry, so and just another blue because I thought they were different. I don't know if I need a little bit um, darker, a little bit more brighter color. Moving on, we have sponges. You'll put the color on with the sponges. Uh, these are really old, these are like two or three years. Hopefully, they will work. Probably from CVS for three dollars, I believe. Obviously, you're gonna need uh, some. Uh, toilet paper or come on, stupid cars. Toilet paper or whatever. Um, then you'll need paper sheets. Uh, then you'll need. I took old newspapers to just cover the area where you're working, so you don't get to die on it. And then I additionally took a H&M bag, just maybe to sit on, or to just cover the area. And of course, the main thing probably you will need a garment to do the galaxy on. I took a H&M skirt, bought it yesterday. Um, it was on the haul uh, blog post, and I believe it was like six dollars. So it's just H&M basics. So hopefully it will work. Overall view, and let's get started. Okay, so I'm just taking the, the spray bottle and practicing uh, on a paper towel. How will the bleach come out of the spray bottle? And after that, I'm just going directly and, you know, spraying it onto the shirt. Skirt. Sorry. And you don't want to cover the whole area. I just, I want it, of course, if you want that. I want it to just make like random circles and they have spaces between them where I can fit in the blue and the white and the lilac so it kind of looks more natural because if you spray the whole thing evenly and just do everything by a layer of you know plain no pattern it will be it will look probably horrible I have to say so yeah and if you want some areas to be more concentrated and more you know brighter more out there so just spray more bleach on the areas where you want the orange to stick out more that's what I'm doing probably in the middle a little bit on the left as you can see okay so now we have returned to the previous or the first back side of the skirt and I'm just mixing two colors the lilac and the blue together and um, taking a sponge, soaking it into the paint over there, yeah, point and applying it in between the orange circles as I said earlier okay so here I am just applying the blue purplish paint uh, so you get that little skyish, little, you know, mystery galaxy look. It is very nice. I was very skeptical about how it will come out. I thought, you know, you could see the sponge edges. You can't. I was very satisfied with how it looked. And um, the thing is, a little tip maybe, is when you apply the blue, or anyway the purple, 
put somewhere a little bit more, somewhere a little bit less, so it has that little shine look, like there's a little lighter blue and a little bit darker purple and lighter blue, so there is contrast more, so there's more deep depth and more layers to the thing. Okay, so now I am going to take the white color and just highlight some areas that might need a little bit more, um, again, light to it, you know, you know how there's dust in the sky and it's all a little bit brighter and lighter and yeah, so this is what we're going to do, we're going to highlight some areas that need to be lightened and again, give it more of depth, give it more of contrast, build it up so it looks good, it looks like a galaxy sky about here and it's like Milky Way. <laughs> Okay, so I forgot to tell you this at first, but you'll need an old toothbrush or a new, but you're not going to use it on your teeth. Promise me that, because, you know, paint on teeth is not a very good thing. So, you take an old toothbrush, go get it now, go get it when you do it. I'm sorry I didn't say you had to, uh, tell it to you at the start, but at least now. This is for this like accent or something. Um, this is for creating uh, the stars, the, uh, a little bit more brighter dust, some other galaxies, uh, mainly stars, of course. I don't know why I'm talking too much. So this motion over here, slip, slip, that you're gonna do onto the garment, and it will create a beautiful pattern of stars. Just build it up as how you want it. I am actually really happy with how the finished product came out. Again, it was super easy to do. You guys, don't be afraid of doing it. Just do it. It doesn't take that much of a time. And yeah, for this first video, I think we did pretty well. I hope I have some more DIYs coming your way. And I'm going to post this on my blog, muchadoaboutzero.wordpress.com. And we'll tune in later. Thank you guys for watching very much. Bye-bye.